so we begin with the arrival, finally, of Brian De Palma's Blowout in the US collection, and it now releases in a 4K UHD presentation with Dolby Vision HDR. Now, this director has a reputation of delivering tense thrillers and out-and-out -out psychological horror throughout his long and distinguished career, with criterion titles such as Sisters, Dressed to Kill, and of course Blowout in the collection, he's fairly well represented so far. Blowout contains a brilliant, stellar performance by John Travolta, a sound effects recordist for a CD film company. Late one evening, when he's out recording new sound effects for the new movie, he accidentally hears a fatal accident involving a prominent public figure, and although he rescues the passenger from the car, his problems have only just begun as he records the entire event on his high-resolution shotgun mic. It all kicks off and we embark on an adventure which is both a mixture of sleuthing and tense thriller, done very much in its cockian style. Now, it's also an 80s movie. I personally think it's one of Travolta's better performances from the 80s, and his screen co-star is Nancy Allen, a firm 80s film favourite, giving a great performance as well. Blow Out is directly based on the Michelangelo Antonioni 1966 film Blow Up, also in the Criterion Collection, Spying 865. Now, the film replaces the medium of photography employed in that film with the medium of audio recording. The concept of Blowout came to De Palma while he was working on the thriller Dress to Kill in 1980. The film itself was shot in the late autumn of that year and the winter, and in various Philadelphian locations, and that's of course is De Palma's home city. As was typical in the 80s, it got a bit lost among the glut of high-profile film releases at the time, and didn't enjoy major box office success. But of course, it was destined to become a fan favourite in future years instead, and it certainly doesn't disappoint on that front. Now, I wouldn't say it's De Palma's best work, but nonetheless, I'm delighted that Criterion enthusiasts are finally able to enjoy it in 4K. It's worth mentioning also some of the supporting cast in the film, starting with the superb John Lithgow as Burke. Dennis Franz is in there, as well as Manny Carr. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you, he was the airport police captain in Die Hard 2, and John Aquino as Detective Mackey. Now, the features, as always, are comprehensive and give more insight into De Palma as a filmmaker. There are two discs in the set, the 4K UHD presentation and a Blu-ray with the supplemental features, which are an hour-long interview with Brian De Palma, conducted by filmmaker Noah Baumbach in 2010, interview with actor Nancy Allen from 2011, De Palma's 1967 feature Murder a la Mode, Interview from 2010 with the cameraman Garrett Brown on the Steadicam shots featured in the film within the film. On-set photos taken by photographer Louis Goldman, and an essay by critic Michael Schragau, and on the Blu-ray edition, Pauline Kael's original New Yorker review. Now, as a side note, Pauline Kael had a notorious reputation for praising trashy films and trashing major works by high-profile directors. But she was kind to blow out, though. The cover art for the disc, of course, is still by Eric Skillman. Blowout has a running time of 108 minutes and will certainly benefit from the 4K treatment it's been given. That's some excellent sequences in the film, especially at the finale. And the title, of course, is already available in the Blu-ray format in the UK, and it's Spine 562.